you need to have more than one avenue of being able to move product and this is going to cause some issues for sure. As over 9,000 workers find themselves locked out of Canada's two largest rail companies, a wave of concern is rolling it across Manitoba as businesses and residents brace for the impact of the strike, which could send shockwaves through the province's economy and daily life. On Thursday, the Canadian National Railway Company and Canadian Pacific Kansas City Limited brought freight traffic to a halt after talks broke down with the union, and it's left many here in Manitoba wondering how this will impact day-to-day -day life. If we learned anything during the pandemic, we know how fragile our supply chain actually is because we're so global, we rely on product to come from so many different parts of the world, and of course we need to be able to move it within the country, and rail tends to be the number one choice, especially for a lot of large products. Joel Hartung owns three lumber stores in Manitoba and is on the WRLA board. While he relies more heavily on trucks for shipments, a lot of the lumber does come from rail. And while he might be prepared in the short term, long term is another story. None of us, I think, have prepared for four months or six months, so we're just hoping that this can be uh, taken care of quickly and everybody gets on the same page and everybody can be happy. But it isn't just the lumber industry in jeopardy. Agriculture in Manitoba heavily relies on freight traffic. Keystone agriculture producers say this has already caused issues with shipping of sensitive chemicals and elevators not taking deliveries. It's quite unfortunate that uh, yet again uh, another strike is impacting the the reputation of Canada internationally as being a as being a reliable source of, of grain and goods. Verway says producers are still going to be out on the farms, but emphasizes the need to push levels of government and rail officials to come to the table so that a resolution can be made as fast as possible. In Winnipeg, Mitchell Ringo's City News.